Hello dear creative friends, my name is Toli Lokwe. I'm the creative director of Caramel's Fashion Hub and Millinery and you're welcome to this tutorial. In this class, I'm going to be showing you how to make a turban with the front knot and some of the materials I'll be needing on my table right now, I'll be introducing you to them. First, I need my fabric and I'm using a stretchy fabric called pulley. You can use your scuba, you can use your velvet. I prefer to use poly because of its texture. Scuba is too thick and might not give me the results I want. Although some people do use scuba, but I would recommend that you use either poly or velvet. And I have one yard of the fabric here, although I will not be finishing it. Next, I have my needle and matching color of thread, a couple of office pins, I have my scissors, I have my tape measure and my tailor's chalk for measuring and marking out my measurements. So next I'm going to be cutting my fabric, let's get started. Alright guys, so I've cut out my fabric and I'm back and I'm going to be sharing with you the measurements that I used for this um, turban cap. So from the stretchy part of my fabric, I cut out my head circumference. From the stretchy part i cut out the edge circumference please do take note of that make sure that your edge circumference is cut out from the stretchy part and now it's on fold so from that end to the other end i am using 35 inches and i'm going to explain why i'm using 35 inches to you the head, the measurement for this turban is edge circumference plus between 10 to 13 inches so you can use edge circumference plus 10 11 12 or 13 inches my edge circumference that i'm working with is 23 inches and i added 12 inches and that's going to give me 35 inches so i decided to use 35 inches because i wanted the knot to be a bit fuller than the other one and to be and the cap to be a bit freer so from that hand right to the other end there is 35 inches cut out from the stretchy part now the width of the turban from up down there is 13 inches on fold but if i open up i'm going to be having 26 inches so from the top down there is 13 inches on fold or 23 inches when opened can you see that 13 inches on fold but when i open up the fabric it's going to be 23 inches can you see that So now I'm going to take my um, my fabric. So now I'm going to take my fabric and that's the right side inside and the wrong side is facing me. I'm going to fold it just the way it is on fold and then sew it straight down. The wrong side facing me and the right side inside and I'm going to sew it straight down. I'll take it to my sewing machine and I'll be back. All right, guys, so I've sewn it straight down. I've sewn it straight down and I trimmed the excess a little and I'm just going to turn it inside out. I'm going to turn it inside out and then I'm going to place that um, seam part, the part I sewn, as going to be facing me. I'm going to refer to that part as the wrong side and the other side as my right side of the turban. So I'm going to place it with the wrong side facing me and the right side facing down. And I'm just going to gather each edge like that. Gather the two edges up like that. And I'm going to be making a knot. Taking it towards the back. Can you see that? And I'm going to make my knot in such a way that the wrong side, that's the sewn part, will be facing me by the time I finish making my knot. Ensure that when you are done making your knot, the sewn part is the one facing you on both sides. Ensure that it's the one facing you on both sides. Try not to make your knot too tight. I'm trying to loosen my knot a little bit. It seems like it's too tight. So I'm trying to loosen it a little so I can adjust my um, the rest of the fabric properly. So just make sure that the sewn part is the one facing you 
adjust and make sure that your cap or your fabric is well fit or well or you have everything out in the right direction can you say that that's the same part facing me on both edges now i'm going to take one edge any of the two edges you can work with any of the two edges and i'm going to take one of the edges and i'm just going to fold it like that ensuring that both sides are equal i'm going to fold it like that and i'm going to make a stitch from that tip down to meet at the knot can you see that i'm just going to sew ensure that you are sewing on the wrong side of the fabric not on the right side because that place is going to be inside so just sew it straight down so guys i'm done sewing and as you can see i made a straight stitch down and then this is what you are supposed to have your turban looking at looking like if it's not looking like this then you are not on track so i'm just trying to make sure that it's equal on both sides and well um, aligned that's all i'm trying to do right there and ensure that both sides are equal and that same part is in the middle if it means you have to measure to get the right um, to get equal fabric on both sides then please by all means ensure that you measure it so i'm trying to ensure that i have it equal on both sides now i'm going to take it like this and the parts the back part can you see that that's the wrong side of the fabric so all I'm going to do is to take the part that is adjacent to the knot, that's the part opposite the knot rather, and I'm going to fold into two and make another straight stitch down there. Can you see that? I'm going to, so that part is going to be the back of my turban. So guys, I'm done sewing. Can you see? I've sewn it straight down. I'm going to be trimming off the excess, but not too much because I like to weave the insides of my turban. After this tutorial, I'm still going to be taking it to the weaving machine for a neat finishing so i'm just trimming off the excess a little bit but not too much if you're not going to be weaving you can use your zigzag scissors to just trim it to make it neat so just give it a neat finishing inside So that's the back of my turban cap. Next, I'm going to take my needle and matching color of thread. My thread doubled into about eight to six lines, and I'm going to begin to do my running stitch from that back part that that is open down to the top, the back top of my turban cap. I believe we are familiar with doing a running stitch if you are into turban making already. This should be very simple. So I'm just going to do my in and out running stitch all the way to the top please kindly connect with me on facebook at caramels underscore fashion orb and i'm also on instagram at caramels underscore fashion orb dot millinery please also subscribe to my youtube channel at caramels millinery and more as you can see i'm at the top of my cap and i'm just going to knot the excess thread and cut it off Please ensure you secure your thread properly so it doesn't come off when your client is trying to wear it. Please also join our Facebook group at Caramels Millinery, all about art, turbans, and fascinators. There you get to mingle and relate with other people in millinery. So I'm just trying to knot the thread of. Um, my running stitch and cut up the excess thread and i'm going to turn my turban inside out and there you have it your front knot turban is ready it's very easy to make i hope i've um, got giving you value in this class i hope you understand i'll place it on the mannequin so you can see please do leave your questions and i'll be glad to answer bye